Hello everyone and welcome back to MAE 101 uh, in the second part which is the robot design module uh, we're gonna use uh, uh, robot cell the robot cell software or a robot cell 3d simulation software so robot cell is uh, 3d simulation software that will simulate the scorebot ER for you uh, uh, robot which is a robot arm that we have in our engineering lab at LaGuardia Community College but in uh, the case of our uh, distance learning we're going to use the 3d simulation version of the soft of the robot okay so in order to install the software which i will show you here on this tutorial uh, first thing you will have to uh, go to the LearnMate platform so you go to the LearnMate and create an account so after creating an account uh, you will need to activate uh, your account then from there you log in which is the second step uh, after you log in, you will need to join the courses, your courses, okay? So when you log in, you won't see any course in this page, but you will have to go to site home, then go to robotics. Then from there, you select the course that you will need to enroll to, okay? Uh, when you click the course, it will ask you for an enrollment key, okay? So from there, you will have to ask your instructor about the enrollment key and use that one to enroll to the course. So next step, after you log in to the course, uh, you will see your course on the front page, something like this. After you click, okay, click the course and you will see all the activities, the course activities, right? So the first thing uh, you will have to do is uh, you will need to download the uh, LearnMate agent setup or the Learn, LearnMate uh, agent software. So this will help you to uh, license your software, okay? Otherwise, you can install the software and you will use it only for seven days. It will expire after seven days. So that's why you need to install Learn, uh, LearnMate agent setup, then save it and run it. Th this is the first step. The second step after installing the LearnMate agents, you will you can install uh, download and install the robot cell or the robot simulation software. So you click here uh, uh, the link, then you download and install it right in your computer. Then uh, after following all the steps, it will ask you what type of robot. From the list, you select ER for your robot cell. Okay. Then after you run it, you go back to your course activity. And this is where you're going to uh, be able to run the software. So go to activity number three. Okay, in this case, click enter to enter the activity, right? And from here, we will select the activity that provide a file that we can open user or a project file that we can open using the robot cell. So I go to index, uh, go to task running robot cell and opening a project. So I will click there, it will take you to that uh, uh, task, then you click here, you see the link here, click here to open the project. So when you click, there is the file project that show up, save it, okay, I have it already saved, okay, so I will just go uh, and, and click on that file to open, okay. So the application is already open for me here. In your case, it will run the software. Now, I have already the software open and we're using that project file, okay? Now, after you uh, open the software, as you can see here, the software shows uh, different windows. So you have the robot cell uh, windows components, which is uh, uh, located below the toolbar in the top left corner of the robot cell window. And uh, it displays the score based program that has been written for the projects. So all programming is done on this windows. Each command and the program is displayed as a separate line, as you can see here, and the program. Okay, so we will talk about this there in a future video. All right? Uh, other windows or other uh, components of the uh, robot cell software here, you have the robot. Uh, uh, cell or the toolbar actually this is the toolbar okay located directly below the menu menu bar and it consists of buttons that provide a shortcut to 
frequently use robot cell commands okay here so running uh, the program okay line by line or running a single cycle uh, etc right then the other windows is the simulation software it's a 3d simulation uh, uh, window all right so in this window as you can see you can see the robot uh, set up uh, in a table here uh, you can move uh, the view of the robot you can rotate it using the right click uh, your mouse okay if you right click and move in left and right you can rotate the robot from left to right okay if you go up and down you can zoom in and zoom out right as you can see here I can zoom in and zoom out and see all the components of the robot okay uh, if you use the wheel also you can change the view either from the top sides okay so using this combination you can uh, see the robot uh, configure or your robot configure the robot configuration from all views or all sides right as you can see here these are the joints of the robots okay it's the base so you have the first joint second joint third and fourth joint and this is the gripper or and factor in fact factor yep so uh, these are the objects that we will use or were used for this project, okay? The other windows, you have here the manual movements where you can control the robot using the keyboard key. So from one to six or K to uh, Q to Y, either up and down or left and right, right? So this, you can try it to use it to control the robot and I will show you how to use it. The other small window you can see here is the teach position. So this is the, when you are uh, in the teaching mode, you can teach the robot to move to certain positions. Here you can uh, teach the robot, record the positions and record the coordinates, right? Uh, here the, is the workspace where you can see all the components of your projects, right? Uh, and in order to control the robot that you have here on your simulation, the 3D simulation, make sure that you are on the simulation mode. So how to do that? You go to, uh, you have three options here, the offline, you can work offline, simulation, or online if you have the robot, the physical robot connected to your machine. But in our case, since we are just simulating, you're going to select the simulation mode. And after you have the simulation mode active, and that's where if you click the manual mode, as you can see here, I can move my robot left and right, okay, using the key. So I'm pressing the one and uh, Q key to move the, the joint. I'm pressing now the number two and W to move the, the second joints and move the arm up and down. Now I'm pressing the third and the E key, okay, to move uh, the third joint, then four and R key to move the fourth joint and to open the gripper. So let me move the 3D here view and zoom in so you can see. So I'm gonna move the gripper. Make sure you select the window again. Oh, so you have to select the manual movement. Okay, then click the five and T. This will rotate. The, the the gripper then you have the six and the y so six and y we will either open or close the the gripper okay this is a, a brief introduction and in how to open and to install the software and how to open it and run it okay in the following videos i will show you other functionality but uh, to learn more uh, by yourself, uh, you just need to browse all these activities. So actually, these activities it will take you or will show you step by step how to run the software, how to record positions, how to perform a simple pickup uh, uh, using the robot arm. Okay, so browsing these activities will help a lot to learn quickly about the software and use it and uh, for your project. So your project basically is. After you got familiar with the software, you will have to uh, think about the task and uh, make uh, your own setup and program the robot to perform the task. Okay, so uh, this is all for today and thank you.